Good morning. On behalf of Cab County CEO Executive Officer Mr. Michael Thurman, Director of Public Safety Joseph Jack London, Chief of Police Martha Ramos, the Cab County Command Staff and the Training Staff, welcome to the Police Graduation for Class 124. We'll now hear from an invocation from Chaplain Robert Barton. Good morning. Would you stand with me, please, for a moment for the invocation? Almighty God, we come to you this morning and we recognize you as the giver of life and we recognize you as the God of love and the God of mercy. We also recognize you, Lord, as a God of justice. And that is why we're here this morning. These men and women have come today and they are pledging their lives and their careers to upholding the laws of our county and our state and our nation. I thank you that you have made us a country of laws. Thank you that you have made us a country that values justice. And I ask that you would help these new recruits recognize the importance of what they are about to do. I pray that you would help them to understand the need that we have for them to be providing service and protection for all those in this county. I ask that you would be with us throughout this service this morning. Give us a sense of your presence and help us to feel the joy of this occasion, for Lord, it is certainly a joyful time. They have completed a tremendously difficult series of events and in classes and courses, and I pray that you would uh, that you would give them a sense of accomplishment and a sense of uh, an understanding of what they are about to do. Thank you for being among us. Amen. Amen. Be safe. Thank you, sir. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Through the perilous fire. 
Please give a round of applause to our national anthem team. This is really great. Thank you, please, our daughter, for my family job. Take your seats. And this is only for the sworn officer present. We're going to read out the Pledge of Oak of Honor. So if all sworn officers can please stand. On the back of your programs, if you recite along with me, I will. I will place the hope of honor. On my honor, I will never betray my office, my integrity, my character, or public trust. I will always have the courage to hold myself and others accountable for our actions. I will always uphold the Constitution, my community, and the agency I serve. Now I'd like to introduce the Camp County Police Chief, Martha Ramos. Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome, Class 124. Today is the day that you've been waiting for. After several months of hard work and dedication, you will now be presented your badges. This badge that means so much to so many. Your actions will no longer be your own. They will belong to all of us, good or bad. They will belong to all of you. So please, as you take your oath of office, remember those words. Live and breathe those words. Serve with the utmost grace, dedication, and truth. I am proud that you have chosen to join us on this journey, the one we never know where it will take us, but as long as we stand together, we can overcome anything. Please know that I and everyone behind me stands with you today, tomorrow, and always. Congratulations, Class 124. Welcome to our DKPD family. Michael Thurman. Thank you, Major. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of the 750,000 residents of DeKalb County, on behalf of our Board of Commissioners, Presiding Officer Steve Bradshaw, our Public Safety Director Jack Lumpkin, on acknowledge Chief Mirtha Ramos and the command staff, and to the brave men and women who serve the cab to keep us safe every day. But to 124, I'm honored to be with you one more time. Before I congratulate you on this accomplishment of graduating from the 124 Police Academy, I want to fulfill a commitment that I made to you on one Saturday morning over the last eight or nine months. I had the pleasure of watching you, of working with you, of standing with you at a moment of crisis 
in the history of this county, our state, and our nation. The 124 will go down in history because of your service, because of your dedication and commitment. You personify what it means to serve. Your work provided PPE for tens of thousands of residents to keep them safe from a deadly virus. Your work put food on the table for literally tens of thousands of families who are struggling with food insecurity. I made a promise then that I would be with you today. I'm so proud to stand here with you. I'm proud to have served with you. And I only encourage you, number one, to stay safe, to continue to do God's work, and continue to protect and serve the citizens of DeKalb County. My commitment to you as CEO is the commitment I made to the first graduating class I had the opportunity to speak to. My commitment is that in DeKalb County, we're going to have the best trained, which you are. We're going to have the best equipped and the best paid police department in the state of Georgia. That has been, that is, and will continue to be my commitment to you, your families, people you serve will and to those you keep safe. God bless. Thank you, Mr. CEO. Please give up Mr. Michael Thurman another round of applause. It's now time for instructor awards and remarks, and I call instructor Sean Parker. CEO Thurman, Chief Patrick, Chief Ramos, Judge Anderson, and those watching from home, good morning and welcome to the commencement ceremony for the DeKalb County 124th Police Academy. Today signifies the culmination of six months of police training, the end of what has been 957 hours of classroom, physical, defensive tactics, firearms, driving, and practical training. This is the culmination of what will hopefully be the first phase of a long and successful career with the department. Though they may look at now, the 25 officers you see sitting together this morning did not look this competent and confident on the morning of August 11th when their journey began. Back then, there were 32 individuals standing together, alone, hoping to do more with themselves questioning whether they made the right decision, and wondering as to how they could be doing this on a voluntary basis. As the academy progressed, they began to answer their questions. The answers came, the answers they came to were, yes. Yes, this is what I want to do, and yes, I made the correct decision. Since then, they have proven they have what it takes to be a successful officer and a good cop. At the onset, there may have been doubts on their part and on mine. But as I stand in front of you, looking at them in their uniforms, I am confident that all doubts have been dissolved. They are ready. They have overcome every obstacle necessary to receive their badges and begin doing what it takes to make DeKalb County safer and better for all that are living here, working here, or just passing through. 124. It's been a long road, but now you sit here as 25 new police officers. Look at yourselves. Confident, competent, and sharp. Each one of you has your reasons for being here. Never forget them. Over time, you will experience complete strangers in your zones, highs, and lows. You will have good days, and you will have bad. Always remember what brought you here in the first place. Keep your reasons close and let them motivate you to move forward through the toughest of times. Being a police officer is a responsibility, one which encompasses a broad spectrum of roles. As you have already discovered, you are not just here to enforce the laws and arrest the bad guys. You are here as a social worker, a psychologist, and as a lifeline to those who need it the most. 
Though the thrill of the chase is, might, might be what brought you here, the potential of being able to do good with your career should be what keeps you here in the long run. Now it's time for the class awards. The first award presented is the Firearms Award. Over the course of the past six months, the recruits were required to shoot approximately 1,000 rounds of ammunition from their Glock 17 service weapon. In addition, they had the opportunity to familiarize themselves with the tactical shotgun and the patrol rifle. They were required to pass several firearms courses, which included the Georgia State Qualifying Course, the DeKalb Stress Course, and the DeKalb Multiple Adversary Course, and night shooting. Some of these induced stresses, but they all pushed through. Before I announce the winner of the Firearms Award, I would like to recognize the runner-up. The runner-up for the Firearms Award, with the average score of 92.47%, is Austin Casberry. The winner of the Firearms Award, with an average score of 95.33, is Andre Campbell. The academic award is next. Throughout the 26 weeks, each recruit was required to take and pass a series of 47 tests. These tests include not only academic, but physical performance and practical examinations on defensive tactics, aspiton, taser, and OC spray. Before I announce the winner of the academic award, I would like to recognize the runner-up. The runner-up for the academic award, with an average test score of 96.59%, is Vanessa Lamy. The winner of the academic award, with an average score of 96.65%, is Lakeisha Anderson James. The next award to be presented is the Spirit of the Class Award. The recipient of this award is chosen by the class as a person who continuously motivated them, kept their spirit alive, and gave them a reason to continue no matter the circumstances. There were times when I'm sure some of you wanted to quit, and it was ultimately your decision not to, but this person was here to help you along the way. Though his methods may have seemed strange, <laughs> sometimes all you needed was a fun fact to lift your spirit. The winner of the Spirit of Class Award as voted on by his fellow recruits, is Rakijian Gowder. Congratulations, well deserved. Thanks, sir. The next award will be the FOP Award. Under different circumstances, it is presented by Sergeant Wiggs of the Fraternal Order of Police. This award is presented to the recruit who demonstrated a commitment to law enforcement with integrity. They have exemplified, even in the face of adversity, the core values of law enforcement, such as honesty, trust, fairness, respect, and community responsibility, both off and on duty. They have the ability, excuse me, they have been able to inspire classmates to persevere to high, achieve the high values laid out in the canons of police ethics and demonstrate, excuse me, this recruit demonstrated that it doesn't take a title to be a leader and that each one of you can lead. The FOP award, along with its one year membership to the FOP Lodge, goes to Tiffany Fraser. The final award will be the Instructor's Choice Award. This award is given to the recruit chosen by the instructor to have exemplified what it means 
to not only live up to, but go above and beyond the standards expected of them. Deciding who deserves this award was difficult. Within each one of the 25 of you is someone who has the ability to go beyond what is required, and someone who in one way or another deserves this honor. However, only one of you can win. This winner, the winner of this award has, since the beginning, represented the class in an understated way. Always quick to help their classmates or volunteer for an extra assignment. This recruit was even instrumental in assisting the department with their CALEA assessment. The Instructor's Choice Award goes to Andre Campbell. Once again, congratulations to you all. You have done it, and you should be proud of yourselves. I will now ask Tiffany Frazier to come up to give class remarks. Good morning and welcome to our distinguished guests, leaders, CEO Mr. Thurman, Chief Ramos, our Assistant Chief, and to all the respective ranks here in this building, thank you for celebrating this special occasion. I am certain all of our families are proud that we made it through the six months of rigorous training which has allowed us to reach this huge milestone of our lifetime. I must say, in their honor, they are the true MP MVPs, I'm sorry. Without them, this completion of Police Academy, Academy would not have been possible. To all the training staff, your hard work, continuous dedication, and every annual mission, training and knowledge have groomed us for this day. We, the 124th Police Academy class greatly appreciate each and every one of you from the simple, you can do it. Keep pushing, by your own hands. Nothing changes, guys, all the way down to our loved ones and those who took the time out of their busy schedules and uh, busy lives to accept and make a few changes over the course of these 26 weeks. Instructor Berman, where do I begin? The list is too long, and there is not enough time to brag on how awesome you are. Although it took a lot to get you to smile and open up a little, I must say, it was definitely worth the months of waiting to see that side of you. Every day, you challenge us to be great. You gave us more than enough tools to equip us on this life journey. You prepared the table of lifelong lessons, all while giving us enough strength and knowledge to spread our wings and fly. You are more than an instructor, and for that, we truly thank you, sir. As I stand here, seeing my classmates and myself wearing a DeKalb County Police uniform, I cannot help but to reflect on our journey together. It all started August 11, 2020, on a wet, muddy morning, 4 a.m. to be exact, on the PT field. Oh boy, what a day to remember. That day, and every day, helped groom us to be better collectively as a team as well as an individual. From intense workouts, mouths ran, down to, down to what member are we on in class our response? Zero. Exactly, zero. To my sisters and brothers in blue, today is the last day that we will walk through any doors as recruits. This makes me think of a strong lyrics. I wish that I could have this moment for life. Class of 124, SS granted. Today we will walk out of the very same doors as certified peace officers. You made it, I made it, we made it. Class, as we embark on this journey, do not allow others to influence you to cut corners. It's okay to take the stairs. Always remember that obstacles are a loss of greatness, and in order to move forward, we must get up from that seated position. Self-note. A leader's job is not to do the work, 
It is to help others figure out how to do it themselves. To get things done and succeed beyond what we thought was impossible. Success is where opportunities meet preparation. Prepare yourself for the next opportunity and never become complacent. With that being said, no journey will be easy. In order to be successful, we must stay and fight through the course. Those mountains and stumbling blocks will always be in place. No matter what it takes, do whatever is needed to climb higher. Wrecking Crew, we bleed blue. Thank you for choosing me to deliver this speech. It was definitely my pleasure. I salute each of you with passion in my heart. We will always have a true bond that can never be broken. For that, we will always remember our why and continue to go forth and do great things. Thank you, Class 124. On, the, on the behalf of the Class of 124 Academy, we present this token of appreciation to Major James and the entire Academy staff. This token of appreciation is to be displayed on the wall of fame of the Academy. Thank you, sir, for all of your hard work. Chief Ramos, Class 124 has completed all the mandate requirements and are now ready to receive their badges. At this time, we'll get started. Vladimir Agui, badge 3623, Wilson, <laughs> Jonah Amos, badge 3624, South Wilson, <laughs> Lakeisha Anderson James, 3625, North Central Prison, Theodore Bender, Badge 3626, Tucker Precinct. Sydney Blackwell, Badge 3627, Tucker Precinct. Andre Campbell, Badge 3628. Daniel Carmona, badge 3629, Tucker Precinct. <laughs> Tiffany Frazier, badge 3630, South Precinct. <laughs> Rikijian Galbraith, badge 3631, East Precinct. Alexander Griffin IV, badge 3632, South Precinct. Jontea Guy, badge 3633, North Central Precinct. Jason Heath, badge 3634, East Precinct. Corinne Hevner, badge 3635, South Precinct. Andre Hauser Cross, badge 3636, East Precinct. Jasmine Jefferson, 
badge 3637, East Precinct. Austin Casbario, badge 3638, South Precinct. Vanessa Lamy, badge 3639, East Precinct. Jerry McDaniel, badge 3640, North Central Precinct. Janae Smith, badge 3645, Tucker Precinct. Stephen Torres, badge 3646, Tucker Precinct. Corey Wright, badge 3647, East Precinct. At this time, I would like to introduce the Honorable Chief Judge Burrell Anderson. I am prohibited from holding. And that I am otherwise qualified. And that I am otherwise 
the guy that didn't lie. I told you. What class is this? This concludes our ceremony.